Hi everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works, and tonight I'm going to be working on one of my very uh, most favorite um, scents, and it is a restock that I'm doing. It is Fresh Ginger Lime. This is a Wholesale Supplies Plus, and this is another Bath & Body Works dupe. Um, it is extremely fresh. The lime is, um, I think it has like a really realistic um, lime scent. It's so refreshing. Um, and it behaves really, really good in the cold process soap. So, I'm down to my last bar. This is what my last one looked like. It was just a in-the-pot swirl. And so I'm going to stick with the same um, colors on this. I do like it a lot. So I'm going to stick with the same design on that. I might switch up from um, a in-the-pot swirl to bowl striping and a hanger. I'm not sure, but either way, it'll kind of have the same effect and it'll still be the same colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Oh, so the colors I have, I'm going to keep them the same. I have a hunter green here. I have that um, kind of very dark yellow, and then I have a lighter green. And I might add a little bit of TD to that to kind of get it to go like a bit more of a pastel green like I had in the other one. Um, we will see what color it turns when I get it mixed into the batter. I don't know if it's going to be like that bright emerald green or not, but I, that's not what I am hoping for. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up. I do have a lot of goat milk powder and clays that are uh, sunk here on the bottom. And I'm making a bigger batch of this than I normally do. Um, I normally just do little two pound or three pound batches, but I'm doing a four pound batch this evening because I want um, I want a lot of this one because it goes really fast. So in with my lye, and I have um, silk and aloe vera. Um, the aloe vera juice that you could just buy bottled, not not the fresh aloe vera juice, in my life solution tonight. So my bowl is a lot fuller than I'm used to. Alright, so let me get this emulsified here. Okay, and I'm soaping at exactly 81 degrees. Both my lye and my oils were 81, so room temp. My oils and butters in here tonight are, let's see, olive coconut, palm, shea butter, cocoa butter, avocado, baba stew oil, and castor, and then a little bit of grape seed. <laughs> into the three cups for color. And then I will um, whiten up my base a little bit.
smells so, so, so good. This has got to be one of my most favorites. This is one that I think I will always carry in my shop. No matter what. I can use this one um, and never get sick of it. It is such a nice fragrance. Okay, so we are ready to go. So let's see, what do I want to do here? It's actually really fluid. So that's good. It's extremely fluid. So I could pretty much do anything that I want with this. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I am going to go ahead and do the bull striping with a hanger. That always gives me a look that I'm really, really fond of. So, get my mold over there. Let me get another picture for my white. It's quite a bit of white that I have there. I just decided at the last minute that I want more, a little bit more color. So I'm gonna, even if it lightens up the colors a little bit, um, I think I'll be okay with that. So I'm just mix them in. Yeah, perfect. All right, so let's get this bowl striping going here. Now, I busted the handle off of this. I was holding it, and it just cracked off, and I almost lost all the oils that I had <laughs> in there, and I was so mad. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm going to go for big, big stripes. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect let's see I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here let's do this Okay, you guys, so here is my striped bowl. Here is my mold here. Now, I have more white than I wanted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that down in the very bottom where it won't mess with my design at all. Just to get it out of the way, because I didn't need this much uh, white. I, got a, I should have added a little bit more to the colors, but I still think it's gonna be very pretty. And I still think that it's going to give me exactly the look that I'm going for, which was what I had last time. I really like that. Okay, let me make sure. This doesn't seem to be in the mold right. Okay. Alright, so let me get this. Make sure you guys can see very well and we're just going to stripe it
really do like I really do like these colors. To me, they're very um, soothing, and the scent to me is very soothing. It is absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend this soap if anybody is interested. And you know what I realized, and I just thought about this the other day. I'm so um, caught up in, you know, like the design element that I never, I never bother to mention that um, these soaps are very beautiful. Not just mine, but every soap maker soaps are absolutely gorgeous. There's so many talented soap makers. Um, sharing their soaps on YouTube. I'm just amazed when I um, watch some of them. Um, and we're so we're so into you know the look of it that we forget to mention that this soap is so good for your skin. Extremely good for your skin. So it, yes, it is very beautiful, but it's also a really nice thing to. Um, treat your skin to. Okay. All right, you guys. So this is how it turned out. This is my uh, fresh ginger lime. Absolutely gorgeous colors. I love the green and yellow of this one. That's why I didn't change it since the last time I made it. So um, tomorrow we will give this a cut and see how it... Oh, I forgot my hanger. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just realized that I forgot my hanger. <laughs> like an idiot. I do that every single time. So, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't bother. Yeah, I'm going to do a little one. I'm going to do a little one. Like little swirls. Not overdone. Just, just like that. Just like that. All right, now let's see if I could fix the muddled mess that I just made on the top with a little bit of the darker green now. <laughs> I swear, I always forget my stinking hanger. You guys have probably seen me do that now at least four times. <laughs> Such a dork. But at least I remembered. At least I didn't cut it and go, oh no, I didn't do my hanger. So for reals this time, <laughs> fresh ginger lime. We'll bring you guys back tomorrow and we will get this cut. See you then. Hey everybody, we're back the next day and I'm getting ready to cut this fresh ginger lime soap. Oh man, this smells so, so good. Um, I will never get sick of this one. This has got to be one of my very most favorite scents. Um, any soapers out there who have not tried this, I seriously recommend this one it um it smells absolutely wonderful and it soaps perfect and it holds its scent and it is a great seller so you can't go wrong with this one i absolutely love it as i've said many times <laughs> so the last time i did this i did an in the pot swirl this time i did bowl striping with a little tiny bit of the hanger swirl um so let's just jump right in and see what we got with that technique. Hopefully it's not too muddied up. Oh, whoa, that is so pretty. Oh, I like it. It's a very small and intricate pattern. Um, it is really light, but you can definitely see the pattern. The colors are right on. Oh, and it smells so good. So I'm happy with that. So I think this look um, matches the fragrance absolutely perfect. So while it's not as, you know, um, bold as a lot of my other soaps are, sometimes it's nice to have like just a, a simple soothing uh, looking soap. So I do like the look of this one so far. 
I liked my other one a lot. I really, really did. It, um, it did have a little bit more bolder, um, swirls to it, but I'm, I'm completely fine with this, with this one. Oh, it's really pretty. Love the colors on that. And the top was really pretty as well. So these are huge bars. They're very, um, very chunky. People can actually cut these in half and have like two long skinny bars and they'll last for a very long time. Ooh, that's a pretty one with a little bit more white. You get a little bit more contrast there. I knew that that, um, my only regret with this one, I do like it very much, but if I could change something, that um, Hunter Green, I would have gone ahead and um, went and got some more mixed up so it would not be so pale. Um, I, I wanted it darker, I was questioning it, and I just didn't want to take the time to go and um, put any more mica together. So that's okay. I'm, I'm still, like I said, I'm definitely happy with this. It is a very, um, a very nice look for this scent. Ooh, this is a cool looking one with a lot, lots of white. Oh, it smells so good. I hope the swirls are picking up through the camera. They are, um, it, they're very light and they're very intricate. So I, I'm hoping that you guys can, can see the, the swirls that I can see in the top. So all these soaps that I made, um, the other night, I <clears throat> had ash on all of them, of course, and I steamed all of the loaves before I cut it. <clears throat> and what a difference it makes. So awesome. Ooh, that is a pretty one. Ooh, that's a really pretty one. See, this one has like more of the darker yellow and the darker green. I'm just a sucker for the bold colors and bold designs, so... <laughs> I always think like, oh, this isn't that good of a soap if it's not just like pow, but I'm, I'm learning that there are a lot of people who actually prefer those soaps. Oh, that's so pretty. This one has a lot of white in it. Getting to the end here of the loaf. This is the last one. Whoops, I always go the wrong way. Cut off the little back side. Oh, good. I didn't end up with the too big of a piece. This is the little sliver piece. All right, and then the last one here. <clears throat> it's got a little smiley face on the end. <laughs> yep, I am happy with it too. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, oh, you know what? It looks like it's actually kind of darkening up um, since it's uh, hit the air for a minute. Oh, that'll make me really happy. Oh, nice. I think so. I don't know if maybe it's my imagination, but I'm thinking um, this is darkening up just a tad. All right, you guys. So this was, again, um, Fresh Ginger Lime, one of my very favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And thank you so much for subscribing and commenting. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.